Ha! Huh. Ladies, mm. as always, we have a special guest. Um, should I give you some clues? Sure. Yeah. She's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know Helen has been, you know, constantly on her Instagram. <laughs> this is fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> Helen told me that. And you absolutely love her. I mean, it's great. It's her first time on the Lady Circle. And we're very excited to have her. But let me borrow your words, Helen. Mm, go for let it. Let her profile do the talking. Born on March the 10th, 1990, to retired Major Budong and Tina Budong, Moesha is a Ghanaian actress and TV personality. She attended the Nshiaso Basic School in Kumase and proceeded to Accra Girls Senior High School and then graduated from the University of Ghana with a diploma in theatre, music and dance. Although an actress, her career kicked off through the use of social media. Moesha has featured in movies such as Pool Party, Bloodline and Amachi Ndede. She has a foundation, the Moesha Foundation, and for her 28th birthday, she donated bags, books, and other learning materials to some basic schools in the country. All right, so there you have it. Our special guest is the beautiful socialite, Moesha Budon. Hi, darling. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Hi. 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 She knows my name. <laughs> have a seat. Thank you. But you've been dancing on Instagram, as Anita said. She wasn't yeah. just, I stalk your Instagram. So you gave us something cool, but we know <laughs> you can do more. So we'll revisit the dancing moves. Oh, good but it's good to see you. Good to see you too. But listen, if you're not, we're not twisting words today. We're only going to be twisting our bodies. <laughs> so I hope you're ready for that. Before we go on our break, though, let's say uh, some thank yous and also get a word from Yaz. Now, the Yaz Minty Extra Long Pad is something you're going to want to get your hands on if you are a lady. Of course, during that time of the month, Things can get a bit untidy with all the mugginess, the leaks, and all of that. So forget about looking over your shoulder and making sure that you are okay. Grab some Yaa Sanitary pads today. Well, if you have a sweet tooth like we have here on the Lady Circle, I don't mm -hmm. know about you, Moesha. Do you have a sweet tooth? No. You don't like sweet things? No. Oh, <laughs> we're going to give you... I love food. <laughs> like proper food. I love it. She's our kind of girl. We have more delight for you here on the Lady Circle. But let's take a quick break, like Helen said, and we'll be right back. Hey. Welcome back. You're still watching the Lady Circle here on TV3. Before we went on the break, we welcomed our beautiful, vivacious, outspoken, mm. talented, yeah. confident guest. Moisha is in the building. Now we're talking today about clickbait and the effect that the media has on spreading certain lies and rumors that actually leads to online and social bullying. Now we know a lot of people sensationalize, you know, headlines for just so that people can watch, they can get the views and they can get the clicks. Sometimes forgetting the physical, emotional and mental effect that it can have on celebrities. Now Moisha, let's go straight to it because there's so much to talk about. Your life literally seems like it's been in front of the camera in the public eye forever. How has it been? If you think back, do you think that this is really the life that you wanted? Yes, I've always wanted the fame, the attention, the, the love, the publicity, to be famous, to be talked about, to always be in the news. And it came to a point that I was really also like understanding social media like so well mm. and I just realized so many things about the media houses and how they make women like us look bad and still makes it good for our brand in a way because it's like even though I was not expecting that kind of feedback mm -hmm. I just realized that it became a trend I was like wow this is something that almost killed my soul this is something that made me commit suicide, like try to commit suicide and this has become a trend in Ghana that it's like everyone is trying to like say bad things about themselves to, to sort of trend. That's not what I wanted for myself. Oh, so people actually go, you know, I had to say bad things yeah. about their own selves yeah. just to trend. Yes. Yeah. And you fell into that? It started with me. And mm. people thought, oh, Mo is getting famous and she's here and there and there. But I feel like good things just started happening for me. And people yeah. saw that and people felt like, oh, let me do this and that. And somehow, somehow, that's become the norms of Ghana media and everyone is just jumping on that trend. I've seen people say 
thinks about them and stuff that I go like, wow, you're not who you are. Why do you say that? It was like, oh, because you caught on TV, so I said, you are dating married men. I was like, I never even said that. I was like, I was in a relationship with a married man that I love, but the words were twisted to make me look so bad. Like, do you understand? So it's like, I've said so many things, but it's not what you guys know. Wow, what is wrong if I got a liposuction done or a BBL done, but the whole world accused me, called me names, trolled, belittled me like, I'm the most troll talked about, like, talk down. When you talk about female celebrities in Ghana, I think I'm the one that people have really talked down on. And the media just loves to use Moisha on that light nice. and just put her in that, like, pit. Or oh, I don't know what word to use because yeah. I don't really regret anything mm -hmm. that I've done. It's just making me become a better person. Can we take it a few steps back? Because when it comes to the issue of trolling and people being negative, especially on social media, you say there was a time when... When you went on social media, the comments would make you feel bad. Yeah. What was it in particular that you found very difficult to deal with? What comments really got to you? Just because I got my body done and I took a boudoir photo shoot, that shows part of my skin and that's who I was. Is that where it started from? It with, started with my with half nude picture. Mm -hmm. That's how Ghanaian just like <gasps> jumped on me. I was like, wow, then am I in Kofo? Like, I was so sad. I was like, wow. I really went through a lot. I really went through a lot and so many attacks from fake pages. The whole Ghana can tell you, Moisha is the reason why people created fake pages. Mm. I was the origination of that. I was the reason why women actually go on social media to create pages just to bring me down because maybe somehow they just felt like, oh, this girl is just so hot and maybe... Mm -hmm. All eyes were on her. And that was it. <laughs> All <laughs> eyes were on me. Let me, let, me, let, let, let me allay your fears. I'm here to tell you, it wasn't only because of you. You are, you are in good company. There are so many others who have sparked that uh, mm. reaction. But I can understand if Moesha says that she's one of the more prolific celebrities who gets that, that yeah. hate. But people started creating fake pages from Adam and Eve, I tell you. <laughs> I tell you that. So if that makes you feel better, for as long as celebrities have existed... People yeah. have been there to, to bring them down. To fake but they, so how do you then get yourself out of this? Like practically, some people will go to church or they surround themselves with friends. I know that you took to Christianity and we'll talk about that some more. Would you say it's your faith and your love for God that has, you know, created this new confidence from you? Was it your friends? What really brought you out of that place? So one minute you're feeling down, suicidal. You don't know how you're going to go forward. The next moment, you're thinking, Charlie, forget these people. I want to move forward. What was the turning point? What really gave you that strength? When I joined social media and all this started, I went through so much hate. So all I did was to pray for people to have love. It was just too much. I don't, it was just so much. Like every time we share, every time we share. And I think when people got to know that, oh, we made a start of it, then it sort of wanted to bring you down. Yeah. It sort of went down, but still I got my attacks here and there, and I'm also so stubborn. I'll still give them sexy pictures, still give them boudoir, and they will start the same insult, which I'll never stop. So I started loving who I was. I was like, you know what? I have a nice body. I'm going to show it off. I don't care what you call me or how you label me. At the end yeah. of the day, it's me and myself and what I want and how I love to appear or choose to live my life. Okay. So I didn't really care, and I feel like God was there, but I was not so closer to God like... You are now. now. Mm. Yeah. Just in case somebody is watching, is going through that depression, is just going through a very hard time, and just wants to say something to God to be able to get out of that space. Oh, it's really hard sometimes. When you're going through that, you don't even remember God, you know? It's just like you're going through so much that you just don't know. But all I can say is that we are all born differently and we all have a way of making ourselves feel better. And if you are going through depression or suicidal thoughts, I just pray for God to just intervene. Because mm. sometimes when you're in that position, it's like the pain doesn't even make you remember to pray. It's like you're just lost, you're just saddened, and you're just grieving so mm. much. And some people are lucky to have people around them. Some yeah. people don't have people around them. And I just pray for everyone going through that, for God to just intervene. Because God is so powerful that he can make you feel better without even anyone coming around coming you. Around, yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. love that. Speaking yeah. of God's intervention, we actually have a video from the prolific 
energetic um, Stephanie Benson and she talks about just what she went through um, with her health having to go through 40 hours of surgery um, to be able to survive and be here today and how the media literally turned that around um, as clickbait and, and literally you know belittled you know the experience that she went through let's watch this video and then we'll discuss it when we come back I understand that all oh, these bloggers need to make money I understand that they need to sensationalize everything for people to read the headlines. I don't usually read the headlines or even the news, um, especially when it's gone and written because you know that it's, it's full of lies. So I don't usually get affected. Uh, but this is uh, only affected me because I almost die um, having gallbladder. It was a liposuction. That's a cosmetic um, um, thing that I never thought about. I've been through cancer, had to reconstruct my breast through cancer, and they just minimized all my pain for the past, since 2014, going through cancer, reconstruction, getting better, radiotherapy, going through gallbladder surgery, <laughs> having a doctor puncture my pancreas and surviving that and nowhere in that was there ever any body enhancement surgery or, 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 or liposuction but somehow they've minimized every pain that I've been through just to survive cancer you know being does not understand the pain you know you probably get through people a lot better by being honest with them. Can you imagine the amount of lives you'll save by telling them if you went through gallbladder removal and there was a mistake and the doctor punctured her, her pancreas. The positivity in that, that I was able to survive, why make it about plastic surgery? Why? I honestly feel her pain. You can tell that this has really affected her and she is a strong person. Ever since we've known her, and we've known her, she's been in the public space for a while. She is strong, she's outspoken. It doesn't look just like how I would have thought of Moesha, that anything could penetrate, you know, their, their bulletproof vest, but it seems like it can. Yeah. And when she says, I almost died. I mean, Anita, how are you feeling about this video? Um, once something hits uh, the social media space, people will find any means, mm. any way they can to read their own meanings into it. Recently, um, Gloria Safo, she posted beautiful pictures of herself and, um, you know, she had a man putting a ring on her finger That's and right. all of that. Yeah. And I believe that at least one person could have picked up a phone and called her. Oh, Gloria, we've seen these pictures because sometimes what it looks like or it's being portrayed on social media isn't what it is in real life. And then the next moment, I think it was all over the place. Oh, she's getting married. She's, I did. I heard she's that. She's getting married. Oh, she's found an Indian man. And I'm like, first of all, Gloria, I with somebody when it comes to her marriage issues and um, why she's not married. Oh. We, we've, seen, we've seen certain stuff about her and how certain relation, a relationship she was in sort of, you know, was in the public space and everything that came. It's, been a, it's a very sensitive topic when it comes to a woman of her status, what she does, and when you want to get into that particular space. Mm. So once it's on social media, so I can just post a picture of me, maybe a ring or something. I'm in a hospital bed. Recently, Recently Helen, Helen. <laughs> we all took a picture of us covering her tummy and she just captioned it. Hey guys, I'm expecting, she did, whether dot, she's dot, expecting dot, money, good news. whether she's expecting <laughs> money, it could be money, it could be anything. They didn't know congratulations were flowing because she's pregnant. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. She's not pregnant. <laughs> you, you get it. So that is it. And I'm th also thinking that sometimes um, we as individuals should be very, very careful with what we post because mm -hmm. people will end up reading meanings into it that you know you cannot control it. Once you put some stuff on social media, people think that they can comment. And I always say this whenever the topic of trolling comes about. I say, as an individual, I feel like you know I'm relatively well balanced upstairs. Um, I'm enjoying life, I'm, you know, well fed, I feel okay. So I feel no need to go on someone else's page and leave abuse or say something mm -hmm. that's unkind. Like everybody else, I have a group chat on WhatsApp 
So I can go and gossip some small gossip with my friends, but to go and then put that on the person's page and project that onto the I person's page. I it's very page, evil. It's very evil. So to me, I always say, look at that as a reflection of the person who has left the message. People are f so frustrated that they come and they, you know, they, 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 want they to project, project that on there. Sometimes on you really have to turn a blind eye and remind yourself that those who matter, they don't mind. And those who mind, they don't matter. Mm. You know the funny thing, years ago, before um, you know, I started doing this like actively, I used to be so worried. Uh, oh, what if someone says this about me? And I had um, a blogger friend then so for some funny reason he and i fe fell out at a point and he decided to teach me a very good lesson Ooh. yeah i will not mention the person's name but I if he's watching it. but if he's watching he knows <laughs> he knows himself because he decided to something i told him in confidence oh you know about how my dad wasn't in support of my career and all mm. of that of course now it's public knowledge so i don't mind even talking about it as at that time some seven eight years ago it wasn't something that was out there i mm. told him in confidence he decided to make a story out of it and i was really disappointed and that thing really got to me so later on he came back that yeah i wanted you to be strong and i'm like you want me to be strong how people love sweet stories about See? me so the bloggers use me a lot for like fake stories and stuff because when i even meet them they're like whoa you made us cash out that's what sometimes oh, wow. you are, sometimes when, you, when they come to me they actually celebrate me they're like you are one of the reasons why we are famous wow because we said so many negative stuff about you and wow. sometimes i cry and i go like you know what maybe this is my gen i can't even help it like you guys destroyed me the economy, but it's, it's it's really affected me in some way but you know we you have want... so much unemployment <laughs> but you know Sika, <laughs> No, but you know, like, you know, you know, something, guys, you know, after the whole, um, it hasn't, no. you know, it has this mm -hmm. negative side yeah, where people see you in that light that they always portray you to. Yeah, yeah. it's very and true. forever when you are even at the top, people sort of label you as what people said about you. And true. as yeah, much as you fight it, that's what is stuck in people's head. And the people just hate you and they want to still. For no reason. They, they just know want you. you to be that girl because some people just hate you. They be, they be. As for Moisha, we have to put in that we don't care whether she's the innocent one. She has to be tagged as that because yeah. we want the world to see us that. May God forgive anyone that have lied against me. Amen. And may God change everyone because I know I've been really touched by God and I've been changed. Amen. Amen. I know a lot of people we're, we're really have come out that. to me, said so many things. I keep getting attacks and attacks and I don't know when it's going to change. I've had media houses tell me people actually come to us. And so we should say this about you. And they give us so much money. Wow. wow. That's how bad it has gotten to. So all I do is to pray to God that anything that is meant to be a distraction mm -hmm. or a disgrace should turn out to be a blessing to Amen. me. Amen. 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 That's In a very Jesus powerful name. prayer. Amen. Amen. Do you regret opening up about some of your struggles? Do you wish you had just kept your mouth shut? Or are you happy that you were able to talk about it and move on? Because sometimes that's the first step to healing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know I've seen stories, heard so many things, and I keep telling God, when is it going to change? Because it's like, so many women are not happy being mistresses or side chicks or concubines to wealthy men. So if God has touched me and he's, he's changing my story, may God change everyone's story because deep down, many women don't even love the lives they are living. Mm. And Talk to us. Shaking we pretend tables. that Shaking whatever Moisha tables. said is not mm. happening, but it's really happening. Mm. It's happening, mm -hmm. and we are all not happy and proud about it, but I, I got the courage to, to share my story and true that maybe God also listened to me and God was like, you know what, my daughter, I'm going to use you to change the world. You know so, there are people who love you too, Moesha. I they, know. There, there, there are people so who love, love you. Know. You know something, um, recently, or the past couple of months, all that was in the news about you, I saw so many people who were posting and saying, we are praying for Moesha. Like, no matter yeah. what, I think people love you. Do you think it's a situation, Anita, whereby you can have a sea of positive comments, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but that one negative or couple of negative comments just sort of overshadows all the positivity? Sometimes you think that, because I do know people who adore you. Yeah. Helen. She is your She's fan. She's fan, oh, this. She's fan clown. She's your page. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Moesha posted that? Yeah. Yeah. You have I'm no idea. Okay. Do you understand? And I think there are people who genuinely 
love you. They love your bravery. You, they love your honesty. They love the fact that you are who you are and you make no you are, excuses you are just about it. the ridiculousness, they love it because they, they understand <laughs> it's show business. Yeah, and you, you also know. give us joy. Exactly. And when you post Michael Jackson, say, ah, <laughs> Moisha. <laughs> and like Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> like Moisha, you're just yourself. Yeah. You can't be bothered that, okay, um, I'm posting these pictures. You're having fun. Recently, you had a party. You're posting the pictures. And I'm like, okay, for somebody who um, has received a lot of backlash and all the hate comments, the interactions on your page is still very impressive because there are people who, Charlie, they are, they're all crefe, crefe, very perfect. But you go on their page and see, you don't see interactions. A mm -hmm. But Moisha, people love you, trust me. They love you. There are so many people that have prayed for you. Maybe um, the, the people who want to be very mischievous, they think that they've won, but no. And you bouncing back mm -hmm. and then coming back on social media was enough proof. I remember the very first post you made after that long break. In hours, you had a lot of likes, a lot of comments from people. Hey, be like you are the biggest fan. Oh. Every time her stuff comes on my page, when I see it, I like when, mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. as and when, you know, it shows up on my timeline. I'm like, a lot of people love you. When you went off, they didn't even unfollow you. They are, they are still following you. Even the yeah. ones that hate you, they are still following you because they want to see what Moesha is doing. So continue preparing them. Give it to them hot, 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 hot. Don't mind anybody Like Cardi B says, yeah. I want to say a very big thank you to my, to my haters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they watch me and they follow me and then they buy my music so they can criticize me. But because of them, hey. I'm who I am. <laughs> So, you know, you're doing you and that's all we can ask for, really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So on this platform, we applaud you and we say that keep at it. Just keep being yourself. Those who like it, they like it. Those who don't like it, Moshe, mm -hmm. they should go and bend their seat. <laughs> After that one, it is up to them. And so, um, this is still the ladies' circle. Today, we're hanging out with the beautiful Moisha Budong. It's been a very interesting conversation, but this is where we take a very tiny break. And then when we come back, there's still more right here with a beautiful Moisha and, of course, myself and Sikose and Helena as well. So don't go anywhere. Welcome back. This is still the Ladies Circle. We're having so much fun with our guest of the evening, the very beautiful Moisha Budong. I hope you're back with some snacks, some goodies to get into the second part of the show. Right about now, we're going to get into a game. And ladies, if you are pumped and ready, let me hear you say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to play this game in teams of two. For convenience sake and because of the way the game is set up, we have team win over here. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Then we have our other team also here. Hey. I don't really team know. Team fabulous. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> we have Sika and Moesha in one corner, myself and Anita in one corner. You might be familiar with this game. It's called Flip the Bottle. Mm, we've and seen it on TikTok. We've seen mm. it on TikTok, all right? Yeah. And, uh, and elsewhere as well. Mm -hmm. Very, very simple premise. I will be flipping the bottle if it lands. My uh, colleague on this mm. side will be eating the ice cream. Thank you. If it's a miss, mm. then uh, I think Moisha can pass it over to you because you're closest. You also flip. Let's make this fast and juicy. So what? So is it is the aim so of the game to finish the ice cream? We yeah. want to see who is able to make a dent in their ice cream. So I'm 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 taking a look. I see what's in your cup. Sika, which one will you be? Okay, I also see what's in your cup. Let's all be fair judges of this one. Okay. All right. Moesha, you're our guest this evening, so I think I'll allow you to start the flipping. And ladies, I think you understand the rules, right? Yeah. So your partners are assisting you. Mm -hmm. uh, so Anita and Sika, we want to see you make a dent, but you can only make a dent if the bottle lands upright. Mm. Moesha, are you familiar with the flipping? Mm. Mm. All right, well, let's do this. <clears throat> okay. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. God, please make it nice. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm far, I'm far, I'm far, I'm far. Shaba, oh, Willie. Oh, oh, nearly, Moshe, nearly. Give it, Moshe, give it. Let's go. It's the flip of the wrist. Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, yeah, I'm quay, I'm quay. Let's go, let's go. Let's pray as Nanyan drew heaven. Hey! Come on, come on. Moshe, go, Moshe, go, Moshe, go. Moshe, keep it, keep it. Go, 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 Moshe, go. Stop, stop, stop. All right. Hey! Oh, Helen, Helen. Sorry, that was the tactical From From display. frying pan to fire. Right. Okay. Moesha keeps going on. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, on. my goodness. Hey, hey, what happened? She said a prayer. God, God is making God. God. God, 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 God,
Flip it, flip it, flip it. Anyway, boyfriend, show your power. Hey. Show your power. Hey. 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 Mm. My goodness. Okay. Well, Tobo, Tobo, just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, Shantava. Hey. Hey. Uncle Ye. No, no, no. Jesus, my boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> Helen, take your time. Slap. Yes. Whoa. Come on, come on. Come on. Let's go. Wait, she's going to go. Oh, clap. If you did beat it. I come back. I come back. No, no, no. Don't let her finish. Don't let her finish. Don't let her finish. Don't let her finish. Moisha, come, come, come. Hey. I need to keep eating. Debi, 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 debi. Moisha, I come back. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm oh, done. I'm done. Damn. You know what? I finished it. I just wanted you guys to catch up. That was just Girl, oh, come on. That, I think that was a marathon. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. All right, Cheers. then. Well, at this mm. point, we'll say adios to this game. Mm. Team Win took it home. I need to give it, give it to me. Give it to me. Actually, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. But it's all good. Thank nah, you, Moisha, Sika, for it's playing. All right. it's, all, it's all good. We've won. We took it home, but it's no. okay. It's okay. You know, Moisha is in a very giving spirit no. right now. This thing so is not easy to I do. I wanted her to no. you know, go away knowing that she gave something. No, nah, but, because but, that's but Helen, happens. Helen, well done. You're the, you're thank the girl. Thank you, thank you. Real you're MVP. The girl. All right, Team Win took this one. Mm -hmm. We'll get into some five things right about now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies, are we ready to know the five things to help you reinvent yourself? Are we ready? Yes. yes. It's class in session. Yes. yes. So we're talking about five ways to help you reinvent yourself, especially if you've gone through something traumatic or you want to turn over a new leaf. Number one, take control of your mind. No negative thoughts. Guys, the mind is a very funny place, eh? Yeah. You know how your thoughts affect your, your, your mood, um, how you view life and everything? If you can capture your mind, block negative thoughts, I'm telling you. Number two, solitude. Enjoy your own me time. Not everybody likes yeah. to be alone. But I think if you're going through a renewal, I think taking some me time is always a good idea. So I'm going to put this right here. Enjoying your own me time. I love my me time. Number three. Trust that good things will find its way to you. I think Moisha mentioned a bit of yeah. that, right? When you pray, when you let it go, when you put good and positive things in the atmosphere, you need to trust that good things are going to come to you. Like, for instance, I woke up today, I said, God, I want to identify as a billionaire. Ah, billionaire, only jikashi. Come on. Chopping and spending, gaji. Say what? There is no mercy for money. Oh, sit down. Naga wine. Oh, did you gaji? Hey, billionaire. Ah. So with the positivity <laughs> and the thoughts, I know billions is just around the ah, corner. Ah, I can see it. It's a good thing you know mm. me now, cause when I get my billions. Hey, hallelujah. Moisha, it's a good thing you know me now. <laughs> Put it over there. All right, number four, learn the art of letting go. This is something I really struggled with. In fact, I can remember what my, my, my friend did to me in class five. Ooh. Do you understand? I've kept it <laughs> till now. But it's always important to let go. In fact, when you forgive and let go, it actually benefits you yeah. and not the other person and really takes a lot off your shoulder so you know who you are sandra i've forgiven you ah. me and you can be friends again do you understand <laughs> all right number five learn to trust your gut you know they say something about women having a very strong intuition That's right. sometimes you feel something i mean maybe it's the holy spirit maybe it's god talking to you but we really do have a very strong intuition Sometimes it's important to trust that intuition yeah. and just go with your gut. Forget what everybody says. Forget the noise in society. It's you. It's the problem. And you have the solution to it. So trust your gut. And, you know, do what you have to do. So that is my five things to help you reinvent yourself. Ladies, yes. the next time I see you, I want to see new people. Sure. Brand new, fresh. Mm -hmm. You've reinvented yourself. Yeah. No old stuff. Yeah. Only new. All right. Thank you Amazing so much. Stuff. Thank you, teacher. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Mm. So this is why we take a commercial break. After that, I think my favorite part will be the billionaire part. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My sister. Yeah. When we become billionaires. See, you people, it is over for you. <laughs> uh, it is over. It is, it, is, it is over for you. Like, ha. Huh.
Mm. I see. What am I? <laughs> I am reinventing myself. But you know something? We're taking a quick commercial break. When we come back, there's more fun. There's more excitement right here on the Lady Circle. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It is so wonderful that you stuck with us through the hour here on the Lady Circle on TV3. We love having you. Before we, you know, run to the finish line, there are a few people that we absolutely have to thank without which the lady circle will not be possible so allow me to say a very big thank you to our heavyweight sponsors yaz woodin onga tasty tom perk biscuit as well as tinnitus vinegar over to you ladies Ooh. well it is that time of the show that we love so much it's time for us to play guilty not what guilty, guilty. Now, if you at home don't have your guilty not guilty plaques the year is 2023 we've been playing this game now for a long time get your guilty not guilty plaques and play along with us moesha i'm going to be asking all of us a set of questions and we want the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth are you ready? Yes. And as we always say, it's a safe space, so <laughs> let's dive straight in. Have you ever regretted being a celebrity? Mm, no. No. Wait, am no. I, am I, are we? Are we celebrities? Hey, please, let's wait, respect ourselves. Zikari is a celebrity? Boisha is the only celebrity here. I don't consider myself a celebrity, so... We are not celebrities, so... Not guilty. Uh, not, not, not guilty. guilty. Listen, I'm foreseeing myself as a big celebrity in Hollywood doing big things. Hey, so, so yeah. Not, not guilty. Not guilty. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Have you ever, and I know you ladies are probably guilty, had an obsessive fan that turned into a stalker? Yeah. Mm. Did you? Yeah. Moisha, well, what about you? No. Nobody's been obsessed with you to the point of stalking you? No. Okay. Wow. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. That's good news. That's good. Have you ever felt that your fame has isolated you sometimes? Oh, sometimes. Not guilty. Not guilty. <laughs> Maybe popularity. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, I think so sometimes. No. No, you don't feel as though it sometimes kept you, you know, lonesome? No, I love attention. I love it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, have you ever found it difficult navigating romantic relationships because of fame? Well, well not again, I'm not famous, but yeah. People are like, well, why is this person in your DMs? Yeah. Why is that person in your DMs? Not, not necessarily because of fame, but I do remember that when I started doing this job, the boyfriend that I was with at, at the time, and I absolutely was in love with him, <laughs> was just not happy. And he said, if you don't quit, I'm not going to marry you. We Should we ask Moesha that, that answer? Um, have you found it difficult to um, navigate your romantic life because of fame? Um, most of the guys I've dated have really been in support of anything I do. They are going like, ah, they have been my like hype team. You know what? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. So yeah. it's just I've had that. really nice good one. guys. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> well, have you ever been starstruck by a fan who was also a celebrity? Listen, let me tell you. Nanama McBrown was recently in the Sunrise Studios and she said to me, she goes, Helen, I love your voice. Oh my God. Nanama McBrown is just a very nice person. <laughs> Come on, oh, <laughs> Yeah. What about you, Moesha? Um, have you ever been starstruck? Yeah, Nanabana. I remember when she saw me one time, she was like, wow, you're beautiful. This is in my head. <laughs> I know the feeling. All right. So big. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the last uh, question here I have for all of us ladies. Have you ever been slapped? Have you ever slapped a fan who touched you inappropriately? Have no. you ever had to do that? Thankfully, oh, not yet. No. Not Guilty. Yes, me. Hey. Hey. In the club. In the club. I'm a socialite, so it comes with my job sometimes. Just people, are, people are like tipsy and like they want yeah. to grab you, touch you. you know, yeah. They just try to so like, you tell them, hey. Yeah. They want All to right. have a feel of it sometimes. All right. All right. Okay, well okay. that is it for guilty, not guilty. Thank you for playing, ladies. Well, Moesha, before we send you off, um, let's find out what are you doing now? What are some of the projects that you're working on now? Um, I'm kind of on my own show, and Ooh. I realize that I love talking. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm kind of on my own show, and I have like dreams of moving to LA. Okay. To pursue my career, being a socialite. To I meet make Kim Kardashian. To, to meet <laughs> Kim Kardashian. <laughs> and so much. Like, I have so many invitations to move to LA, yeah. which I'm about to like leave the country. And sell Moisha Boudin to the world wow. for wow. everyone to love me. Wow. And now, yeah, there's so much more. 
As you say, you can all come on to me, Bria. You may forbear. But this one, Jesus is our baby, so Jesus will not even let it yeah, happen. Yeah, Jesus will let we it happen. We are going to early. Moisha, please, uh, do you need like a personal assistant when you go? <laughs> or you need somebody to, I can, I can help you with a lot of things. You get Don't it? worry, so what the time comes. Uh, push my name I'll in there. I'll put all of you on. <laughs> please, please, say, please, no, LA, no, no. Los Angeles, not yeah. Labad. Los Angeles. Mm. Yeah, Los Angeles. Mm. Moisha, we have some gifts for you. You. Oh. Some amazing gifts from some of our sponsors and supporters here. Of course, some Perk chocolate chip cookies. Very sweet to go with your evening tea. Miami Hua Petit. Kim <laughs> likes tea. Mm -hmm. Kim Kardashian drinks tea. So this is great for that, as well as some tasty Tom for, you know, Thank those you. days at home when you could do cook. Yeah, I love cooking. What's your favorite? Because Helen said they saw you with some... Contumary. Contumary. That one was takeaway. It was takeaway. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But you do do some cooking and stuff like that. I love like cooking. That. Love that. So mm. this is some tasty Tom for your soups and stews and anything that you want to cook. But we also have something very special as well. Mm. We have some really lovely cupcakes over here. Ooh. And as you can see, ladies, shall I show the camera? Oh. I don't know if they can see Ooh. them. Oh. These are cupcakes of strength, of beauty, of confidence, of fabulosity. So we're going to do something. We're going to share it with Moesha and share in the journey that she's been going through. When we pick a cupcake, we say a word of encouragement and a word that describes who we are as fearless women of the lady circle. So I've taken one and my word is tenacity. That is my word. Mm. Moesha, what is your word? Hmm, but who is it? I said, I mean, so, so. So. <laughs> fabulousity. Fabulousity. <laughs> um, I think the theme mm. of today has been perseverance. Even when it doesn't feel like it's going well, you keep on going. I love it. Mm. And mine. <laughs> I need to manage strong, manage heavy weight. And I said, also wear me as well. Yeah. So mine will be. Mm. Ambition mm -hmm. wrapped in strength mm -hmm. and vivaciousness. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right. And well, so to you, Mo. To you, Moesha. Cheers. You. Cheers. Cheers. Helen, are you already digging in? She's already mm -hmm. digging in. You know how, wow. how Helen does. Are the emojis does. edible? Because okay, I don't want to eat it, but I want to eat it. <laughs> well, it's been a fantastic time having Moesha Budong on the show. First time on Lady Circle is not going to be your last, right? She's going to keep coming every season and we would love to see what she's up to, her growth. And like she said, soon she's going to be in LA and we're going with her. So guys, if you see us in LA, don't say we didn't tell you. It's been great having you here on the Lady Circle. As always, we want you to join us every Saturday, same time on TV3. So until next week, see you later. Ooh.